Ahoy! A lot of people have been asking me to share a few ways of making money in the game. Well, I cannot magically make you rich, but I can try sharing a few tips that may help. First of all, don't gamble. Upgrading is the thing that typically robs people of their odds. The upgrade system in this game is not likely to reward you. Keep that in mind. If you achieve an upgrade level of plus 9 for example, as tempting as it may be, don't try going on. You will fail eventually, and then you will regret it. Selling the upgrade course instead can provide you with a steady income. It's not hard to get 5 or even 10 of them in a couple of dungeon runs, and they are always easy to sell. Negotiate. If you see an item that you want to buy in the agent shop or in a personal shop, always try asking for a lower price. Even if the seller is willing to drop the sales fee of the agent shop from the price, it's worth it. As a side note, when whispering or mailing someone about that, try to be polite. Every little bit counts. Don't throw away items like critical damage scrolls. Mostly they can be sold for up to 100,000 Oz, which is not bad. If you think about it, that's an item you probably get dozens of. Four scores may also look worthless, but in the long term you lose a lot of profit if you just sell them to the NPCs. Also, picking up the money that dead monsters drop can also make a difference in the long run. And I see very few people actually doing that. Start a new character. The scenario quests can, in fact, provide you with up to 100 million hours. However, if you decide to try that, it's best if you start a new character that matches your main character's class, so that you can use most of your items without spending a penny on new gear. You may also want to watch the prices. There are items that are often bought, like upgrade cores, gift vouchers or craft materials. Checking the prices in the agent shop daily takes only a few minutes, and they can reveal a lot of information. When they are cheap, don't sell your items, or better yet, buy more. You can sell them when they are expensive again, and cut a nice profit. I mentioned upgrade cores and vouchers as examples, because they are typically the items that people always buy and sell. Their price often moves a lot, and you can always easily sell them. Keep an eye out for events. Some items will be more demanded during event times. Upgrade point events, for example, obviously boost the price of cores, while item shop events affect the vouchers, and so on. By selling those items at the right time, you can multiply your earning from the sales. Also, some of the events have collectible items, like letters or badges, that people often buy. Once again, gambling is not likely to reward you, but selling them is a steady source of income if you resist the temptation to exchange them. And last but not least, be careful buying character binding items. It might seem like a good idea to buy them cheaper, but sooner or later you're going to get a better set, and then it can be helpful to get some money back from your old items. I hope these tips will prove useful. Additions and opinions are always welcome in the comments.